yes ma'am okay what is your full name uh, my name is uh, madhusudan where are you from i hail from chennai okay do you work or are you a student i work ma'am i work in a international travel company and i also have my own business venture partnerships do you like your job yes ma'am i like very much I, i like my job very much what do you like about your job the most the most is like i have to source new people i have to interact with the new people and in network i have to develop a network and i have to source it that's what actually when i go for the job they say me that i am the face uh, face value of my company and the representative of the company so the end customer looks at my face and he develop gives a business that's the reason i love my job very much would you continue in your current job in the future yes ma'am i, I would like to continue my current job for future if it hopes in everything if the economic for economic impact everything goes well and if there's a rise in economy and definitely i would like to continue in the same job do you use technology at work yes ma'am we use a lot of technology in work it's completely you know online all the products and everything we sold is online so majorly if you see that we they use this uh, enterprise resource planning called erp which is already we developed by some software companies before they use it okay, okay let's talk about clothes how often do you wear special clothes Oh, special clothes. Okay, because it's uh, more often man, when I when I were going to meet a new person, when I were go for a party, when I go out for a mall, when I were go for a festival, always we wear a new clothes. That's what I've just with clothes. Clothes. This thing. Okay. Do you remember wearing special clothes in your childhood? Yes, ma'am. Special clothes are most like you know when we go to a wedding party or fashions or you know especially go to the. No, definitely go to for a you know, festival occasions or get together. Definitely, we wear the special clothes. Okay. When was the last time you wore a special outfit? Special outfit. When we last, when my company is hosting a fair trade fair, okay, in a hotel in Mumbai in January two thousand nineteen, that I wear a special suit for that. It's a two three days or trade fair. Then I wore a special suit. I really felt proud of it, and it's like very interesting to me and very motivating me. That that's the thing. I wear a special suit and okay. uh, things. Do you like wearing traditional clothes? Yes, ma'am. I like to wear traditional clothes, especially the traditional festivals like Mongol and Lokam Solar. I very much do love to wear traditional clothes like dhoti and uh, shirts. Okay, let's talk about wild animals. What do you know about wild animals? Wild animals? Yeah. Wild animals. I love the my my most obsessed wild animal is lion, because lion is one which is really fearless, which has a pride. Always they are uh, always emphasize lion as a picture of the animal with the pride. Even if you see an Indian flag, the Ashok Chakra, you see lion with the pride. Always because lion is emphasize the uh, animal which definitely goes for hunting, and whatever the whatever uh, obstacles come, it faces with without fear. Okay, so. Well Okay, in your country, where can people see wild animals? Wild animals in like in our know, sanctuaries and wild forests. Mostly, if you see gir forest in Gujarat, they used to have a lot of uh, wild animals. There'll be a lot of wild animals will be there, and in the sanctuaries like you know, Assam sanctuaries, they have we can see wild animals. Have you ever seen a documentary or TV show about wild animals? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever seen a documentary or TV show about wild animals? Yes, ma'am. I regularly see about. I always my at my channel going to channels like you know Discovery Channel, National Geographic Channel, mm -hmm. or uh, National Geographic Wild. I definitely always see this uh, things. It always says about how the animals in Africa are there or they are their wildlife, something like that. Especially when I see the Bear Grylls program, you know, it's like really like it because it encounters a lot of wild animals in this thing, and I lo love to see all that. What country would you like to visit to see wild animals? Uh, wild animals in the country means I love to visit uh, Kenya, man, because there is a lot of this wild masamara and a lot of African lions and all this uh, lions are there, right? So it's more uh, special for the African lions and all this wild animals like cheetah, tiger, jaguar. All this many wild animals. What we study in our school time, many uh, almost ninety percent of animals are found in Africa. So Africa and Kenya. So I visit. I want to like visit Kenya and Africa. Man. Okay, in this part two, I will give you your two-minute topic. Okay, and you have one minute to prepare, and you have to speak for one to two minutes. Let's start. Huh? Markets is one of the like you know my famous uh, admirable places from my childhood. Or else, if I especially when I since I done my uh, commerce student, 
I love go to markets. So for me, whenever I, street market is one of my favorite. In my lifetime, when I traveled to Almaty in Kazakhstan, where my office is in 2017 in November, I went to the Flea Market. It's called a Flea Market in Almaty. That is Almaty is situated in Kazakhstan. It's one of the biggest market. If you see that, whatever items you'll be getting it, you'll be getting a lot of clothes, you'll be getting a lot of blouse, shoes, whatever you zip, you'll be getting it. The most admiring thing about the market is everything you get. It. Even if you want to buy a small uh, needle pin, pin or whatever, a nail cutter, everything you'll get, you'll be getting even from brutes to suits. And it's the biggest market I have seen. The how the market is centered in one of the uh, central area, central locations in the city. If you go first, they'll be starting with the uh, souvenirs like you know their trade craft, their uh, national heritage, culture, statues, the leader statues, and their uh, historical books, their uh, chess uh, boards. And if you further go down, you can see the clothes market. Clothes market, they'll see all type of t-shirts. Especially if you want winter, they'll see a lot of sweaters. And if you go in summer, they'll show you a lot of caps and you know wetsuits and you know sweatshirts. If you further go down, they'll be having a lot of this. Uh, Dry fruits market, dry fruits market, and they sell all the dry fruits market, especially like dates, uh, badam, pista, and not like a small quantity. They'll be having a huge quantity of dry fruits market, and it is very cheap if you go the dry fruits from that area. That's what many people go there. So uh, the most admired thing is like that the dry fruits will get free. Some at most if you buy around one kilo of dry fruits like badam or uh, dates, you'll get a 250 gram, 300 grams extra, and you can taste it very well, and it's so tasty in it. Okay, beyond that, you'll be having a market plenty of seafoods, especially like fish and chicken and uh, all this crabs and all the lobster in it. You have a plenty. It's almost a uh, more than a hundred square meter market shop uh, market where you can get any seafoods, seafoods as well as uh, non-vegetarian items like uh, chicken, mutton, and all this even beef, chicken, mutton, beef, and you also get a pork also. So it's I can say this market in the uh, city of Kazakhstan is the biggest market in that and it's also admirable and also it's like you know you can also purchase some video games in it some if you go that to left uh, one left another sector of the market you can purchase a lot of uh, fancy items like video games and all this uh, kids uh, kids toys and all this uh, other other parts like uh, stationeries and this library also is there so this uh, market really captured my attention in that it is one place so there is no need to go to shopping mall, especially if you have something to enjoy or cinema or a movie in it. Other than that, I can say it is one of the biggest market in this whole Almaty city and definitely uh, uh, I recommend others to go and have a look at look into it. You'll feel really glad and you'll feel have a sense of pleasure when you visit the market. You said, you know, you know, don't avoid it. Don't say, you know, to the examiner, then use almonds for the dry fruit when you are talking about badam. And then you said like, okay, uh, it's a formal, little bit formal conversation. So avoid being informal. All right. Otherwise you spoke very well and you spoke for more than I think three or four minutes. Okay. All right. Now in part three, I'm asking you a few questions related to this topic. What is the difference between a street market and a shopping mall? Street market is like uh, it's uh, almost uh, there's no bark. You can get get a good bargain in it, and uh, you get a good exposure in it. Okay, because all these competitors and the sellers they sit uh, side by side. Okay, and it's kind of a you know childhood activity, whereas a child can enjoy it. Even the adults can get a pleasure when you wait, you know, go to the street market in that. that. In the if you just go for a, in a shopping mall, especially anywhere in the city. Like it's uh, quite, I can say for, I like it personally. Otherwise I feel tedious because of the parking and you, again, you have to again climb up three or four uh, floors. And uh, this is a, a thing. Only the, that's the thing in it. So because the street market is like a, you can have a f uh, open view. But then if you go for Dubai, if you need, go for any shopping mall, uh, it's like, you know, you have to climb three or four uh, floors. And again, you have to get the parking done. And you've got a specific location where it's uh, all this market are located. So uh, this is that main difference between street and sh shopping malls. And shopping market. Okay. What are the benefits of shopping at street market? And what are the benefits of shopping at a mall? Street market is like, you know, bad effects. I can say you cannot uh, justify where the product is. It's genuine of uh, this thing else. 
this is uh, what the for otherwise because if we get a cheap item okay ma'am if we definitely if we get a cheap item means definitely you'll be getting addicted to buying it but there is because after the buying the product only you'll come to know whether it's valid or not or whether it's genuine or not instead of uh, especially if you take a cell phone you buy in the street market it's of 100 there's no guarantee that it's will be valid okay ma'am but if you buy in the shopping mall it's like you know otherwise shopping mall you can buy it but some people if you go to shopping mall and buy you should not get addicted to it if you go for a shopping mall, automatically you'll feel hungry. You go to the food court. You need to spend a lot of items. So uh, you not should not get addicted to the spending of a lot of items. And that if you go to the shopping mall, especially, then because a lot of items will be there. In the ground floor, there'll be a what to see jewel shop. Middle floor, there'll be a children's play, a children's area, food court, and cinema hall. So we'll be addicted and we'll be spending more in the sh uh, shopping mall. This is the main reason the difference between the two, the bad effects and the good effects. Okay. Do people prefer to go shopping alone or with others? Uh, mostly people to go shopping together, ma'am. Because like, you know, they spend a lot, they can enjoy together. It's something like going to a beach party or going to a party or occasion or a festival or get together like that. So maximum, if you go, they go to families or friends, they go to a shopping uh, with together. Mm -hmm. Only if you see some people who are really single or want to spend some time or spend some vacations, they go alone. And what about you? I both I both go alone as well as I go together with my family. I'm on both the places. Okay. Do you think that shopping habits of consumers today have changed as compared to past? Definitely, ma'am. Because shop, especially past, we used to plan what we know should know what we're shopping. But the today's trend, they're not they don't have any plans. Just go to shopping something like go to a leisure. They just go to shopping like going to a joint or doing exercise. So they don't have plans. Current consumers don't have proper plans of what to shop. They just want to uh, relax and get out of the stress that they face in their real day life. They just go for shopping. They don't have proper plans. But in the past, we have a budget and we have a plan. But in but today's consumers, mostly they don't have a proper plans when they go for shopping. All right. This is the end of your speaking test. Overall, your speaking is good. Okay. But avoid a little bit informal words and uh, translate the words like elements and all, okay? And uh, avoid using, you know, you use it everywhere, okay? Otherwise, it is good and try to speak more in the follow-up and you can give examples also. Overall, it is good speaking. You can score up to seven band, okay? Okay.